There you go. You're water. Gonna, you're gonna, yeah, you're yeah. trying to sell water. Wrong alley. <laughs> I'm down. You guys down? A really loose country. Yeah. Up she goes! Yeah. Barcelona, is it the best skate city in the world? I know that's an impossible question to answer, but my answer is yes. For the first time ever in 1992, the Olympic and Paralympic Games were held in the same city, Barcelona. The city spent something like $10 billion on infrastructure and preparation to make everything wheelchair accessible and to build plazas and parks. And the result is the most skatable city in the world. The ground is perfect. A couple pushes and you're cruising for blocks. And on those blocks, spots. There's spots everywhere. And for that reason, skaters have transported from all over the world, and somehow everyone in the city seems to be okay with it. The Makba Museum even allows for hundreds of skaters to hang out and party and skate there all day and night. Skateboarders are accepted here. Shit. All sorts of good times are accepted here. Let's meet the locals. Winkle is originally from Florida, but is called Barcy home for a long time. Everybody loves Winkle. You're sweating all day, looking good. You go to Mock, but you get on the menu. You know what I mean? Shit, out here, the women are like, I'm buying you a drink tonight, and I'm fucking good. Like, thank you, and I'm getting Hetty Murphy, and I'm swallowing your kids, I swear to God. Is that not the truth? <laughs> Alex created the Instagram account at Makba Life, which keeps you up to date with what's going on every day at Makba, the epicenter of the best skate city in the world. Makba Life, you know, that's it. That's it. You get beers, jigs, skateboarding, precious stuff, put everything together, and just spread through the world. I met Christian out here when he was about 13 years old. They called him the boss then, and they call him the boss now. Christian the boss. <laughs> Why do they call you the boss? I don't know, bro. I just, like, from so small, you know, like, I just put that thing on the Instagram, you know, and, like, everyone just started calling me the boss, the boss. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Enrique's been skating here since the 80s. Uh, it's funny because I used to tell all my friends back in Los Angeles, like, hey, you're going to come to Barcelona, you're going to come to Barcelona. And they were telling me, like, if it was that good, why aren't you there? What are you doing here? Danny LeBron, another Barcelona OG ripper. I've been skating in Barcelona since. 13 years ago. And then there's Catalina. You can find her skating around Makba most days and her positive attitude is just too contagious to ignore. I live in front of Makba. We're right now in my house. You can see it from here. <laughs> and then there's the Italians. Please do not pester these awesome women. If you're lucky enough to meet them and end up in their crew, then you just hit the Catalonian jackpot. Good times, good people. All right, so this is La Rambla. Basically connects Universitat to Barceloneta. All the way from that skate spot, right past yeah. Macba, every bar, every restaurant, straight to the beach. Everything you need can be found on La Rambla. Whether you need stupid souvenirs, or you want a street beer, or to find the guy, whatever. If you stay on La Rambla, you'll find your friends. If you get lost, it's all just kind of, this is like the, the middle of the tree, and then it's just the branches is everything else. This is kind of all you need. So if you're gonna stay somewhere, I recommend stay near La Rambla. If you're skating down La Rambla, the ground kind of sucks. It works, but I recommend just go like one block over, and then it's like ice skating, smooth, perfect ground between everything you need. You got Nevermind, Manolo, every restaurant, Makba, Universitat, the beach, everything, La Rambla. Todos en La Rambla. At the top of La Rambla, you'll find Universitat, a popular skate spot, and I try to stay near here. Universitat is a really good place. Over there, you got the metro station, you got two different lines that they take you in like so many spots, you know, like 50 spots, I don't know, bro, so many. Have we mentioned Makba yet? Listen, you don't actually need to know anything about Barcelona except go to Makba. You'll be fine. You'll find hundreds of skateboarding dudes and babes, cheap food, good food, street beers, bars, and it's all happening all day and all night. It's unreal. Perfect flat ground and a bunch of spots. 
Going first, Magba, you know, this is one of the famous places like in the world, you know, for skateboarding. I guess I meet my friends there all the time because it's just like perfect. You can warm up there and it's like in the center. So it's kind of like close to everything and everyone. And it's a good place to start your day, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I'm at home, you know, like here is like my second home, you know, like the other day the, the owner from Magba, he put plugs, he said, hey, we got this for you guys, like you guys, you guys can charge your phone and all that, like what the fuck, what, all right, thank you. I think like 70% of the people is living here, like they're not Spanish, you know, like even me, I'm not Spanish, I'm from Bulgaria, you know, so. It's the closest thing we got to like world peace to me because we have every culture there and we're all getting along and everybody's enjoying life. You know? Like everyone around over there have to be like respectful to all the people just using the plaza for anything. You skateboard and not the owner. Just put it by the trash, just respect the people that's walking around. On that way, we're gonna get the plaza like forever. Anything can happen like that, you know? Like, you can pick up a girl, grab a beer for a year, like, every time, see crazy tricks around, people just hanging out, like, having sex or whatever. Just be there and just see what's going on, because it's always something new is gonna happen. I think if you can't land a trick in Magba, you definitely cannot land it in any other place in the world. Columbus, Yale Point, New America. What's up, bitch? I'm over there. You already know. After a long day of skating in the sun, a couple pushes, and you're cruising down La Rambla straight onto the beach. You can eat and drink right there in the sand. Whether you're trying to get some seafood paella or buy some cheap beer or mojitos from the sand peddlers, you can take a swim, catch a tan, get your hair did, you're all good. Grab some slides real quick. The cost, should I ball out? Should I pee rod? Tori Pudwell, should I flee Big Gustavo? Shane O'Neill? <laughs> what up, dog? Done. Beach ready. Towel done. There's street beers and there's beach beers. This is a beach beer. Life. <laughs> Life in Espanol. <laughs> like I said earlier, there's no city as skatable as Barcelona. Your board will pretty much get you everywhere. And if you want to go a little further, just hop on the train and keep it moving. You can have a really good deal for, for a 10 ways metro for 10 bucks. The red and the purple line, they got like so many spots, bro. Like in every station, like five spots. In any place of the city, you will find something to skate for sure. It's kind of like a lucky thing. You just go down in a random metro station and try to find something new. Any place you just stop by, it's gonna be spots. It's like amazing flag ground everywhere, so spots everywhere. That's the magical thing about Barcelona. You can skate all over, all the time. Yeah, it's perfect there. <laughs> all the way in the ground is per it's like it's like made for a skate or something, but I don't know. When you're on your body 24-7, you get better results. When you're in a car, you're just tired and groggy. If that blood's moving, you're ready to do anything. Oh! 
the architecture is pretty crazy. Since 1992, where they were the Olympic Games, they fixed the whole city. So they built a bunch of industrial plazas with ledges, stairs. And I remember like one summer, I think it was in 2004, that everyone was here. It's like the whole skateboard industry was in Barcelona. It's like every other street you were walking, you were running into some pro or some amp or someone in the skateboard world who I can really remember because honestly, everyone was here. So <laughs> you name it, probably he was here. And I just moved here because it was kind of like the new place with a lot of new like perfect blocks, perfect flat ground, like all smooth, like a different scene than everywhere. Skateboarding was the immediate draw. That's why everyone went, skate spots. But I mean, whether it's the food, um, the culture, the beach, the girls, the vibe, yeah. Barcelona was like somewhere you'd want to go and you could kind of get lost and just have a good summer. Some of the most famous spots in Barcelona nowadays is the, the Magba and the Plaza Universitat, Parallel. And back in the days used to be Sands. Sands used to be the main spot in the whole city. You don't get kicked out. The laws, they're not like as strict as in the US. The dirty Magba kids are killing it, you know, like Brian Alborenga, fucking Christian Krasimirov, Pedro Atemboro. You know, all the shops around, like, like Amigos, FTC, Rufus, Collective, they have like amazing teams. Yeah. Javier Sarmiento, bro, is the best for me. I meet Javier Sarmiento and I start skating here like every, 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 every day, you know, with him. And he was my sponsor, man. He was always giving me the decks, you know, and all this. Appreciate it. He's the best, man. That's Fran Molina is the homie, you know. He's like really killing it. Daniel Jenks, Marek Safransky, Mikel Vidal, Brian Alvarenga. All of them are skating like so good right now, you know. Yeah. We're going up. Every menu in every Spanish top of spot here, Papas Bravas. It's like their version of the French fry. Everywhere. I love it better. <laughs> Thank you. I think I just told them I loved them on accident. <laughs> and I said see, because that's how I know. <laughs> Down in Barcelona, you have like paella places, like for 15, 15 years the menu. For 250, you can make like a big portion of pizza and, uh, and a beer. It's a good, really, really good deal. Spice Barcelona 
He's killing it. You, you do the craziest chicken, bro. Rising chicken, the best. Marta, my place, my place yeah, of my course. Place. Be there. Oh, You're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Cheap food is fast and fun, but there's nothing like a home-cooked meal by a bunch of Italian women. And I will put Italian smoked cheese in it, so you can call it risotto smoked chicken. <laughs> Get fancy, bitch. Where are my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> If a home cooked meal is not an option, just go down to Kino. It's at Makba. They got everything on the menu you could possibly want. They got a full bar. I probably ate like three meals a day there half the time I was in Barcelona. Water. You're gonna, yeah, you're trying to sell water. Wrong alley. <laughs> Barcelona has full-on skate bars. And I'm not talking about bars that skaters go to. Nevermind literally has a concrete bowl inside the bar, and skate videos playing on all the TVs, and rock and roll playing at all times. I literally go there every night. And the crazy thing is, there's a bunch of cute chicks there that all like skaters. For a change of pace, check out Manolo. It's way more mellow than Nevermind, and it's been a skate bar forever. They have skateboards hanging on the wall, skate videos playing in the back. I highly recommend you stop by Manolo. All right, now this is Jamboree. This is about as clubbing as it gets for me. But the tip is you have to go right when they open and get your stamp, because it doesn't start popping off until like 2 a.m. So you gotta go at midnight, get your stamp. So when you come back at 2, the line's gonna be too long, but you got the stamp, you get straight in. Come at midnight, get your stamp, come back at 2. That's the tip for Jamboree. Shit, you wanna party? You're gonna end up at Makba first, and the police are gonna dish you out of that. Then you end up going to Jamboree, City Hall. <laughs> Skater bars, we got Betty Ford's Nevermind and Manolo. Like, I don't even go to Nevermind, but I did just get kicked out of there the other night at the Vulcan party. I definitely got kicked out. Go to Nevermind a little bit, just grab a couple of beers, then you can pick up some girl for sure, and then just Jamboree, Apollo, you know, Nasty Mondays too, like that's crazy, man. Maybe uh, Auto Suits, uh, Pacha, they have like uh, Migos music, you know, and all this, so like, not all of us, but some of us like like this rap music, you know, like Nevermind, they got like too much rock and all that shit, you know, it's just like, Get on my mind, you know, like, like I'm there for like 10 minutes and then I go crazy, you know, like I want to get out of fucking here, you know. <laughs> so crazy, bro, yeah. My new favorite place. The party. The street. Last area. I don't go to clubs anymore. I don't care. You go to clubs to find the new people, but I already have my friends and here you find the best people ever. You don't need to go to club. Because the club you go there and what are you going to talk about? Yeah, let's have a sex or whatever. It's, it's just boring. You know where you're going to, you know? Better the street life. Street life. Yeah, also mama. <laughs> As fun as the bars are, venturing into the streets of Barcelona in the middle of the night is my favorite thing to do. There's so many alleys and streets to explore. Gothic and gaudy architecture, unlimited skate spots, sculptures, beaches. You can buy a beer on every other corner for a euro and see everything this beautiful playground has to offer without anybody around. No traffic, no tourists. Well, sometimes you run into others, but they're just doing what you're doing, and that's cool too. Barcelona. You're gonna have an amazing time. It's it's skateboarding. Barcelona is the, one of the most amazing uh, cities in the world. There is like a, a young spirit. Like people are really living their life, and I love it. Enjoy the city because the city have like a lot of things to give it to you. Uh, architecture, you know, like beach, good, good weather, good food. So just enjoy the city. If you're a skateboarder and you haven't been to Barcelona, you're missing out on life. Come here and create your own life here. Don't think skateboarding is what you see in magazines. Come out here and be you. Barcelona has everything a skateboarder could ask for in a city ticks every box, so go there as fast as you can, and if there's a better skate city on this planet, please hit me up.
because I can't wait to see it. <laughs>